Now we'll find out what the baby wants. Wow, she wants a watermelon. Will you do it? Can you do it? Well, if my sister wants a watermelon then, here you go. Uh, I'm off to rest. Call me when I win. <laughs> hmm, now we'll set up all the equipment. Oh! Oh, what's that noise? <laughs> it's a watermelon! Well, and our grandmother. Don't fall anymore. Oh, okay, chef. <laughs> what did I want? A watermelon. Now we will make watermelon fresh. Let's open the watermelon and use a blender. Oh, how to stop it? Oh, okay. I have to be very nice and gentle. Oh, there we go. Only seeds remain. Uh, why use that? I think the baby doesn't want a watermelon. She wants a watermelon cake. This is a baby. They like sweets. I have already prepared the dough for biscuits. We pour it into molds. And now the most interesting thing. It's coloring. I recently bought some new dyes. I really want to try it. Let's start with this one. Mmm. It's very tasty. Let's pour the dyes into our dough. And mixing it. Oh, what a delight! Look at these colors! So, we have done the most difficult part. It remains to bake it. Well, I'll wait for you. While my cakes are being prepared, I can… Yeah, work out a little. Oh, the chef is kind of weird. Okay, I've whipped up the inside of the watermelon. Now we can make jelly. And some honey, of course. I collected it this morning. We pour everything in. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, he wants my honey. I won't give it. This is for my granddaughter. I'll catch you. Oh, there you are! Uh, oh, uh. oh uh, Katie, I'm sorry, darling. Oh, what was that? Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> so, here is our last one, and we need full concentration. Making the perfect shape. That's perfect. Moving on to cream. Oh, I wish you knew how good it is. And I'll use this little spatula to make it even. Perfect. Now let's take some colors. No wonder mom sent me to art school before cooking. This thing is actually looking like a watermelon now. Let's not forget about the green pattern. There you go. This is a watermelon cake. Wow. Oh, I have… Oh, like, mine are not that beautiful, actually. Oh, what about me? I'll cut it now. There we go. I think I did a very good job, too. Well… Let's cut it. I hope the baby will like it. It looks amazing, actually. Oh, perfect. Moving on. Oh, did you do that on your own? It looks great. <laughs> and what do I have? Just a watermelon. Okay, I'll fix it now. I'll pour my favorite Fanta into the watermelon. I will get a watermelon with a taste of soda. And it's pretty cool. I'm so smart. Everything looks so appetizing! What is this? Jelly watermelon? We need to try it. Hmm. It tastes like honey. I love honey. 
This is absolutely delicious. What is this? Sis decided not to try and give me a regular watermelon with soda. Okay, let's try it. I'm cutting it and… Wow! Is it blue inside? It looks so cool! Let's try it soon. Mm, watermelon with berry Fanta flavor. Cool! And what's here? Let's try it. I'm gonna cut a piece. What? It's rainbow cake! Wow! This was my dream! Oh, this is so yummy! Chef, you're the best! You're the winner! Oh yeah! I'm the best! Have you heard that? I'm the best! Baby, what are you going to ask for this time? Wow, those are Oreo cookies. One second! I brought something. I always have a case with different chocolates from all over the world. I only use it in very important challenges like this one. Hmm. These are perfect. First, I'll crack some chocolate. Yeah. The more, the better. And even more. And… More, more, and more! Now let's arm ourselves with my flammable buddies. Ha! We'll melt down our chocolate friends a little. Great. Take note, it's actually pretty cool. Perfect. Moving on. Oh, oh, it's too, it, it's too hot! Oh no! My, uh, my hands! But we need to pour the chocolate into the mold! Oh, I'm doing it! Oh, that's it! Oh, it, it was very odd. My hands almost melted. Oh, you're a professional, of course. So, I'm almost ready with the dough. And we're gonna add some cacao. It's gonna be chocolate dough. Well, I definitely know how to make dough. I'm making these little round circles and we're baking them. Oh, perfect. How pretty they turned out. My granddaughter will definitely like it. Kate, what do you think? What? Um, Granny, why make waffles? My sister drew an Oreo. Maybe you could just wipe your glasses. Opening the packaging, putting it on a plate, and perfect. Oh, don't be upset, Grandma. You'll win another round. Oh, they're so amazing and I'm so hungry. Well, I'll just try one piece. I think nothing will happen. Oh, I'm just going to lick it off. Oh, it's amazing! Mm, just perfect! I need everything! Oh yes, it's so delicious! I can't stop! Who made these cookies? Oh, maybe we should stop her? I'll write in the comments. And I'll continue to cook Oreo according to my author's recipe. Waffles plus peanut butter paste. And plus waffle. Ready! Perfect Oreos from your beloved grandmother. What about you, chef? Well, I have the perfect Oreo. I have already prepared all the necessary layers. And we're moving on. It remains to lay out the pattern. And it's gonna look like the original cookie. Perfect. Ready! The perfect huge pink Oreo is ready! Uh, what's going on with Kate? This was… so good! Wait, what? The last cookie? Did I eat everything? Oh, what a nightmare! What should I do? Alright. I have some hubba bubba paste. It looks very cool and it's actually very tasty. We can make cute bubbles out of it. Let me show you. Well, it looks awesome. I will use it instead of that previous filling. It'll be amazing. 
I can't wait to see her reaction. What kind of yummy food has been prepared this time? Wow, is that a huge Oreo? It looks great! I wanna try it! Wow, it's chocolate! But it's really uncomfortable to eat. Okay, let's leave it. And what is this? It looks delicious. We should try it soon. Hmm, not bad. But I'm not amazed. This looks more interesting. It's Oreo, bud. Why is the filling pink? Wow, it smells great and that's gum inside! Cool! That's so unusual! I really like it. And can I blow bubbles? Wow, it's so cool! Sisters Oreo win! Really? I won? Hooray, I'm so cool! Chef, there you go! This time I want pancakes. Oh, hey, CS Pie. I'm the best at pancakes. Mm, no way. I'll make the best pancakes. I love you to be the best after me. Uh, how to cook pancakes? Well, improvisation is my everything. Now we will mix in a blender everything. And, well, something will turn out. Uh, what to mix then? Like this, some milk. Um, what else? Maybe some flour? I hope that's enough. <laughs> I actually don't have any more. Well, let's turn it on. Oh goodness! Everything is flying all over! I'll have to turn it off! Somebody stop this flower storm! <sighs> it seems to have stopped. I have flour everywhere, but the dough is ready. Now we should bake it. I think it's pretty cool. And there's a real fight between grandma and the chef. I have everything under control. I'm starting to bake right now. What? With this frying pan? Seriously? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> this is what you should be using. This is a professional pan for professionals. Oh, whatever. I'm starting to bake. Pouring some oil so that nothing burns. <laughs> Ugh, you have oil leak in that frying pan. The oil dispenser has been invented a long time ago. Well, the ideal amount in my pancakes will be not only delicious, but also healthy. What do you have there? I'll win. No, I'm going to win. Look what I can do. You haven't seen that, I'm pretty sure. What? You think it's impressive? Now look at this! This is real experience. Perfect. The perfect lending. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Are you guys fighting or what's going on? What's the matter with you today? Um, uh, I've already made my huge pancake. Now I'll just uh, bail it off from the frying pan. Oh! Pinky, we don't fly away! Oops. Right in the trash? What a nightmare. I've been doing it all for nothing. A brilliant idea came to me. I will improve my pancakes. I will cook them in the shape of a heart. Perfect. I hope the baby will appreciate it. I put all my love into these pancakes. Adding a little syrup, berries, and some hearts. Perfect! What do you think, chef? Ugh, it's so funny that my stomach is literally hurting. Look at my hands. I'm pouring two chocolate paste into the mold at the same time. When the baby picks it up, it'll be delighted. Huh, that's so cool! Wow, it looks cool, but Kai, stop fighting! The baby will decide on everything! Oh, they have such beautiful pancakes! What about me? Oh, I actually have an idea! I have a donut! It's round and plump! But we can flatten it! 
There you go. A pancake! Wait, where is it? <sighs> There's my pancake. Well, it's better. Wow! Everything looks great! Except this one. What is that? A pan? How to tear it off? Oh. It's kinda scary to even try. I don't want that. Wow! Well, what cute pancakes! Granny definitely did it. We need to try it soon. Mmm, a very familiar taste. Delicious pancakes from the best grandma. Thanks, that's perfect. Wow. Well, what's here? We need to lift it up. So beautiful! Chef, you are genius. We need to try it soon. Yeah. Delicious. But what to choose? Grandma or chef? Choose me? Not me! I'm the best! I choose grandma. Yeah, she has the best pancakes. Me? Oh, hooray! A victory! Chef, did you get that? I'm the queen. It's interesting what's going to happen now. Okay, in the first round, each of you must prepare a cake for me. A cake, it's easy. You need to start with the preparation of the dough for the biscuit. Everything is simple here. You will need flour, eggs, milk, a little sugar, freshly squeezed lemon juice, right? Huh, it's much simpler. You need to quietly repeat after grandma. Oh. Ah! How painful! Ah, oh, Granny, what are you doing? Look where you're shooting lemon juice! Oh, Emma, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't even notice. Let's go back to the future biscuit. The mixture is already ready. It only remains to pour it into the mold. You need to do this very carefully. Oh, look at that. Let's put it in the oven. Oh, no, I don't want to deal with flour after that. I'd rather cook a cake for Kate based on their goodies, right? To get started, we need to roll out Cuba Booba gum. But I won't roll it into a pancake myself. Here, I will need the help of heavy artillery. The paver is quite suitable. Yeah, just look at that. There it is. And now a dump truck with marmalade bears. Come on! Come on, come on, it's time to dump them right into the pan so that they will melt. Perfect! Now you need to carefully take the frying pan with the help of special tags and pour the melted marmalade directly onto the gum pancake. Yeah, look at these colors. All this needs to be repeated. The second layer of gum. Lower it. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Now another layer of marmalade. One more layer of gum. And it's done. Oh, I think grandma cooked something too. Yeah, my sponge cake is ready. It's time to divide it into two layers. Come on. Just like that. Yay. And now we spread whipped cream between them. It'll be very tasty. So good. Look at this perfection. Another layer. Zach, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, because it's boring. Look at my cake. And it's not even over yet. I will decorate it with droplets of food dyes so I can make it brighter further. But the droplets don't suit me. Well, you need to use a napkin to distribute the dye around the perimeter of the entire cake. Just look at this, how I'm gonna do it with this spatula. It's going to be perfect. Yeah, such marks will definitely satisfy her. Beauty, now I'm going to make a hole right in the center and put as many Skittles candy as possible. Everyone loves them, so they certainly won't be superfluous. Yeah, it seems that red candies were a little short, but never mind. I have more! 
watch everything and be envious, people. This is how a real cake should look like. Hmm. Interesting. I need to decorate a cake, too. But candy is just boring and harmful. But a strawberry is completely different matter. First, you need to get rid of the green top. In Tech Talk, I saw that it can be done with a tube. And then the strawberries just need to be cut in two parts. Look! Well, I have a rainbow. And it's gonna be unrealistically beautiful. Okay, well, I have some fresh mint leaves and slice them with lemon. It'll be much more beautiful this way. Yay. Uh, yeah, right. This is more beautiful. No, this. No, mine. No, this. What kind of dispute? Strange. I should decorate a cake, too. However, I only have gum left, so it'll do anyway. Hey, would you stop swearing? Ugh, let Kate decide everything. Wow, how beautiful! I don't even know whose cake to start with. Everything looks very appetizing. Well, Granny, let's start with your cake. Hmm. How sour. Ew. What is it, lemon? Grandma, why did you put so much lemon in there? It's impossible to eat without wincing. The next candy is a cake from Chef Zack. It's not only beautiful, but it's also very big. Ooh, there's a bunch of Skittles candies hiding inside. Cool. Hmm. Oh, the taste is simply unreal. Wow, what kind of pink cake is this? Look at that. Like a cake from Barbie. Hmm, Emma, did you really manage to make a cake out of gum? I've never seen this before. Whoa, so stretchy. <laughs> cool. Mmm, it's very tasty. I didn't think a chewing gum cake would be so delicious. Hmm, and do you know what else is good about this cake? So stretchy and so sweet. Oh, I just love it. That's right. I can inflate bubbles. Ooh, it's not just delicious but also fun. Emma, your cake wins this round. Hooray! No wonder I tried so hard for so long. What are we going to cook in the second round? And in the second round, you will cook scrambled eggs for me. I didn't have breakfast today, so I would love to try it. Scrambled eggs? It's possible. First, you need to professionally separate the whites and the yolks. You can do it with one toss of a knife. Yay. What? So posh. Does he really think it's hard to do it for us? Uh, okay. It's actually hard. What should I do? These were the last eggs I had. Oh, that's right. A regular syringe will help me. With it, you can collect the protein separately and yolk separately. And put it right on the hot frying pan. And I can make scrambled eggs unusual. I'll make not one, but many small ones. Uh, I have a difficult job ahead of me. The whites will need to be tinted a little to make them brighter. Now, with the help of syringe, I can make scrambled eggs in the form of a rainbow. Oh, look at these colors. Yeah, yeah I have brilliant ideas. And now Yolk will serve as sun. Isn't this really cool? Why such difficulties? You can just make the cutest scrambled egg in the form of a kitten. Ah, yolks are just very similar to big eyes. Just look at how cool it turned out. Granny, what are you doing? Oh no, because of you my sunshine has spread! Ah! I did it accidentally. Oh, but my cat is so cute. You can't do that! It's not fair! And that's up to me to decide. I think I'll start with little ones from Emma. Hmm. It's delicious, of course, but it's too little. Although, the idea is interesting. Yeah. Huh, what did Chef Zack do this time? Uh, what kind of filth is this? I will not try such a slurred yolk. It's too disgusting. But I'll eat a cute kitten from grandma. It looks so unusual. Hmm. 
It's also delicious! Grandma, congratulations on your victory! Thanks a lot. I knew you'd like it. I wonder what we will cook in the third round. I want churros! Do you know what it is? Of course! I'll do it easily. The beginning is simple. You need to mix flour, sugar, a pinch of salt, water, and oil. To make the dough turn out without lumps, the machine will mix it. Since I'm cooking everything using dice today, why not use them this time? It turned out to be such a pink-blue mixture. With the help of a regular bag, I'll squeeze out the churros in a perfect size and put them directly into boiling oil. It seems to sound simple. I just need to repeat after a professional. Okay. Oh, no. No package is clearly suitable for me. The whole mixture is out. It's disgusting, but I have an idea. What if we have churros that are made from marshmallow braids? Huh, <laughs> they're already delicious. But after the butter, they will become even tastier. I don't know what churros is, but I'm learning fast. I will need the dough from them in a bottle. So it will be much more convenient to pour them out. Now you need to shake the ball thoroughly so the mixture turns out great. Ah, I overdid it. Uh, Grandma, stop, calm down, because of you we're all shaking! Oh. Oh, I'm fine, thank you for your help. Well, it's time to squeeze out our perfect churros. I'll cook them in the oven. Oh, so good. Let's go! Oh, a little ice cream wouldn't hurt. With it, anything will be tastier. Final touch, and sprinkles! It will be both tasty and beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. Ready, what is this? Ha, huh. what? Churros. Look how dense churros I have turned out. They need to be watered with honey. And everything is ready. Honey, this is not churros, <laughs> but ordinary cookies. I wonder what my churros candy look like. Uh, not so good. Well, I can do anything else right now. Uh, you don't understand what real churros are, do you? Well, maybe it's for the best, Kate. Only I made the real churros. I can't wait to try all of them. Let's start with Emma's. Uh, what is this? It looks like softened marshmallow. Okay, Grandma, you certainly did a good job. It turned out very tasty. Only, this is shortbread, not churros. Well, I see that Chef Zach really tried. Oh, Worley, his dish is most similar to churros. Mmm, smells amazing. And it's very tasty. I've never tried such churros yet. Congratulations on your victory. Oh yeah, I told you that only I know how to make real churros. Where will baby Jess start this time? Come on, show us. Wow, it's waffles. That's pretty hard, bud. I think our heroes will do it. Yes, I will cook the best waffles in the whole world for Jess. We need to prepare the dough. Some eggs. Milk. And some flour. Now we whisk everything thoroughly. Oh yeah, just like that. Well, it's done. The dough turned out to be amazing. Now we pour it into bowls and drip some food coloring in there. I want to make rainbow waffles, so a drop of rainbow colors. Wow, the color is just amazing! Now I'm going to use some syringes and pour the dough into there. Now straight to the waffle irons. It's important to pour the dough in layers to make a real rainbow waffle. Great. Now we just have to wait for the full cooking. <laughs> what does she have there? Oh, did you decide to feed my granddaughter with chemistry? Color waffles, what a horror! Grandma will show you real waffles. Well, peeling the pumpkin, then cutting it into pieces. <laughs> with this little gadget, 
<laughs> Perfect! Now we put everything in a blender. Oh, smells incredible. And starting it. Great! We have pumpkin puree. And now we add this to the dough. Oh, this is my signature recipe. How many times have I already said that it's great? Oh, whatever. Amazing. Pouring everything into a waffle iron and let's cook it. Let's wait a little. Zach, what do you have? Oh, uh, Granny, well… Uh, oh, a brilliant idea came to me! I want to make gum waffles. I've already cut out the strips and… I'm putting them into the waffle iron. I'm not friends with the dough. Well, it only remains to cook it. What about the chef? I've got my rainbow waffles ready. Oh, how beautiful they turned out. My waffles will definitely have ice cream on them. <laughs> like what kind of waffles are served without ice cream? We put a few scoops on the waffle and… Closing with the second one. And now… We add some cream. There you go. Oh, what does it smell like? Oh, Zach, um, you have something burning there. Oh, what? Oh, I really do have something burning! Oh, my gum waffle is burnt! Oh, how to get it out? Huh, I'll try it with a spatula. Oh, it's really sticky and disgusting. How do I make a waffle out of it? Doesn't look like it! Huh. What is the chef doing there? So, I'm done with the cream. It turned out like an Oreo. How do you like it? Ugh, I can do that too! I'm going to melt a chocolate bar! Ugh, perfect! Now we will pour it on top of our gum! <laughs> it's working! Oh yeah! Hubba bubba! Grandma, how do you like my waffle? Oh, Zach, that's not it at all! Let me show you a real waffle. So that you at least understand how it should look like. See? This is the perfect waffle for breakfast. And I'm going to add some strawberry jam, which I made myself. Oh, amazing! Well, we can serve it! Is everything ready? Then let's give baby Jess a try. These waffles look cool! Let's start with this one. It's the most unusual. Uh, it's really weird. Is it stuck? Wait, is it plasticin? I don't want to try it. What's next? This waffle looks so delicious. Uh, my favorite strawberry jam. Uh, what's in here? <laughs> That's pretty good. Wow. What is this? It's a whole Oreo out of waffles. And it's insanely delicious! The winner is definitely the Oreo waffle! Ha! <laughs> Hooray! Victory's mine! We'll start with a simple one. Cook me some delicious pancakes. Pancakes. I can do that. I've made so many pancakes in my life. I know their recipe by heart. First, you need to mix flour with milk. Then break the egg into the resulting mixture. Zach, what are you waiting for? Repeat after me. How do you say you need to do this? I have a deep plate. The only thing left is pour flour there. And the more the better. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, yeah, it's not easy to cope with flour. Next come the eggs. You also need to be careful with them. And we must not forget about the milk. Grandma taught it that way. Whoa, Grandma, yes, you have a full-fledged doll already. Yes, yes, there will be pancakes soon. Damn it. What have I done? Granny, it's all your fault. I was distracted by you and accidentally poured my doll. But never mind, I think after I shake it up, everything will be okay. 
strange. Uh, the stupid mixer is just stuck. Come on, get out of there. Uh, where are the mixer nozzles? Oh no, how do I get them out? Ugh. Apparently they have settled in my dough forever. <laughs> yeah, Zach, you're a lousy cook. We'll have to cook the most delicious pancakes ourselves. I don't have any competitors anyway. Just look at this beauty. So beautiful. Of course, these pancakes need to be poured with maple syrup. So they will become even tastier. A piece of butter? Wouldn't hurt either. Granny turned out of course not bad, but too boring. Why not make pancakes also colorful? So it will be more interesting to eat them. Wow, beauty. The dough is ready. Let's cook. My pancakes are in the form of famous characters. So they will be bright, tasty, and memorable. Such beauty will definitely not leave your head for a long time. So beautiful. Let's flip it. Just a little more on the other side. And ready. Well, everyone got such beautiful pancakes. What should I do? That's right. Why well, cook pancakes from Daw? You can just take the finished one. For example, cut out circle of bread with the help of cups. To make them tastier, you need to sprinkles and whipped cream. And if you add a little bright sprinkles, my bread pancakes will become even tastier. Look, it's almost ready. The last gesture. Look at this beauty. Kate, it's time to pick a winner. Wow, I didn't expect such a variety of pancakes. Let's start with Zach. I hope this pancake won't disappoint me. Although they look quite strange. But sprinkles and cream are good. Well, let's move on. Who are these blue freaks? Original. But are they delicious? Ooh, I really like it. This time, they definitely tried for me. Well, the only one left is from Grandma. Grandma, don't let me down. Mmm, so gorgeous. Oh, a taste of my childhood. Grandma, you know best how to make delicious pancakes, so the victory in this round goes to you. Aw, oh, hooray, don't worry, someday you will be lucky too. Are you ready for the second round? Then make some delicious hot chocolate for me right now. We'll be done. Easy. While everyone is chatting, I, as the smartest, enjoy Nutella. Zag, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I need this Nutella to make hot chocolate for Kate. I plan to win this round too. To do this, I need to stir the Nutella with milk. Then put this mixture on the fire. And of course, stir it well. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh yeah, the smell is amazing. It's time for me to start cooking. But the milk won't open. Ugh, I'll finish you off anyway. Oh no! I'm covered in milk myself. I definitely need to win. So that sacrifices were not in vain. To do this, I use the favorite chocolates of all people on the planet. I will definitely not lose face with them. Watch and learn. Hot chocolate is the last century. Today, chocolate is served separately because it looks more beautiful this way. And it also is much tastier. I just know an excellent form from serving it. It just needs to be smeared in a special shape. This way, they're gonna be half spheres. And then I'll put them together to make a ball. I'll pour cocoa inside so it will taste even better. And some marshmallows too. And now, just close it. Voila! And I'm gonna put more chocolate on top. Just perfect. 
Now you can pour hot milk into a glass. It is enough to throw one ball into it as it immediately becomes chocolate. Oh, so difficult. My granddaughter loves homemade cocoa and hot chocolate. I like it too. What is this smell? Ah, oh, Zach, your hot chocolate is burning. Oh no, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, why is chocolate so hard? Did I not cook anything? Oh no. Well, let's pretend that I planned it. Chocolate sculpture. Well, well, well. Zach, what did you do? It doesn't really look like cocoa or hot chocolate. Mm, big deal, it's just a bunch of chocolate bars. That won't do. Let's see what my beloved granny has prepared for me. Mmm, homemade cocoa. Yummy. Also with cookies. Mmm, so good. The only thing left is to try what a miracle Chef Tina has prepared. The pitch, of course, is much more interesting than the rest. Whoa, I think I got it. Her hot chocolate is something incredible. Ooh, look how it melts. So magical. Is it really chocolate? Let's try. Mmm, it's just something incredible. The winner of this round is obvious. Tina, you're becoming one. Ugh, obvious. After all, I'm the only professional here. Now I want a cake. Big and delicious. I can cook cakes very well. <gasps> Easy. I can definitely handle it. It's good that grandma knows her granddaughter's taste. I'll be able to cook exactly the cake that Kate loves the most. And I will make it in the shape of a heart so that she also knows that I love her. Just like that. So cute. The layers need to be thoroughly smeared with cream so they won't stick together. The more you got the cream, the more delicious the cake will turn out. Therefore, you need to smear every millimeter of the cake with cream. And now, I'll just even the sides from the cake. Ready. Oh, so good. Now, there are no better decorations for a cake than fresh berries. You need to cut off the extra leaves from them and combine berries with the cake. Berries will give the cake sophistication and, of course, a pleasant taste. How do you like my creation? It's corny somehow. Now, I will show you how to cook a delicious and great original cake. First, the cakes should be divided into two parts, after which a piece should be cut out of a cake. Ready. After that, you just need to repeat after grandma, but not for long. After each layer is covered with cream, time to flip and design it. Perfect. The base of the future rainbow is ready. Then we just need to decorate it with the right colors. I'm sure Kate hasn't tried a rainbow cake yet. Well, almost everything is ready. The only thing left is to smooth the cream and add some details. Perfect. And now we can just add some details. A rainbow with a face will be much more cute. And you can also finish off with drawing some clouds. Another one of my masterpieces are ready. Why bother so much? It's a cake. You'll have to eat it anyway. It's enough just to pile out of cream. Everyone loves it. Oh, it seems that Grandma and Tina cakes are clearly better than mine. But I'll fix it right now. To do this, I need to melt some chocolate. I hope I can do it quickly. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yum. So cool. And delicious. It's time to pour this chocolate on this cake. But you need to do this with a special mold. Yeah, don't forget about sprinkles. Look at that! Cool, right? And now... Whoa, so cool! 
Yeah, that's really good, Zach. Yeah, everyone did their best this time for sure. I don't even know where to start. Probably from Tina's cake. It's so cute. Delicious, but clearly missing something. Grandma, I hope I like your cake more. Mmm, yummy, but there's something missing here. Zach, maybe at least you made the perfect cake. Looks, of course, quite ordinary, but the appearance can be deceptive. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, and this is exactly the case. I haven't tasted such a delicious cake before in a long time. Zach, congratulations, this time the victory is yours. Finally, I already thought I can't win. Oh, I love watermelons. Well, in that case, Grandma, cook me a piece of watermelon. Uh, what? Take it and eat it. What's there to cook? I don't understand. Oh, look at TikTok. Oh yeah, that's fun. Cooking watermelon is a real art. Mmm, what a fragrance. Excellent. Just what I need for a chic lemonade. First, with this gadget, I will cut out the middle. Perfect. And now I need blender to do the rest. I'll get a great drink. The kid will be delighted. Wow, wow. Well, I can take my hair scrunchy and cut a basket out of a watermelon just like this. <laughs> now we need to cut. Ah, uh, I don't need these. So let's remove the excess. Well, it's good that I have a special spoon. I'll make mini watermelons and fill my basket with them. Cool, right? Ah, uh, Granny is delighted. Look, Emma, this is for you. I'm gonna insert skewers to make it easier for you to eat. And I'll put the faucet in a watermelon. Wonderful. Now I'll pour Fanta and make it blue. Oh, it's gonna be just a bomb. How cool I came up with. What kind of laughter is that? That's hilarious. You should have seen it. I love life hacks. Whoa, a guy takes a samurai sword and cuts a pineapple? I urgently need to check it out. My sword is always with me. Oh, concentration. The power of samurai. The sword is an extension of me. What? How is it possible? I can't believe my eyes. What was that? You can't lose concentration. One, two, three. Um, what's going on? Uh, whoa. Why is watermelon not cut? I'm using the old way. Yay, you can't beat me, watermelon. My power is infinite. Ugh. But not the sword, I guess. Well, I don't need it anymore. What a bummer. Ah, oh, can you be a little more careful? We're ready, baby. Enjoy your meal. Wow, cool. And what is this? Uh, brother, I won't do that. What a watermelon basket. Wow. Little watermelon balls. Cool. Thanks, Grandma. Whoa, is it just me? Or is there a faucet sticking out of it? Whoa, blue lemonade? Unexpected. I want to try it now. Oh, so good. Thank you, Chef. You are the winner. Me? Oh, don't thank me. Oh, no luck today. Don't touch it, it's for a challenge. Oh, it hurts. This time, I want Skittles. I love sour sweets. What? These? Okay, help yourself from my pack, baby. What's there to cook? That's it. Well, though, it's a lot. I'll eat one of them while no one's watching. Grapes, apples, kiwi, or lemon. I'll start with lemon. And then I'll take the rest. 
sour fruits will make great candies. Squeeze the juice into a saucepan, water, gelatine. Excellent. The only thing left is to mix it. The candy mix is ready. Now I'll pour it into some bowls and do the powder. I have four tastes ready. And I'm gonna mix them with powder. Now we need to mix everything thoroughly. Ah, oh, such bright colors. Yes, perfect. Now we have to shape them. And then cut. And from this little pieces, I'm gonna make circles. The only thing left is to put everything on the plate. Perfect taste, perfect shape, and perfect serving. And here are clouds of creams. I'm sure it's gonna cheer you up. Well, a strong move. What to come up with? I know. I'll take my favorite basket and go to the forest. Here, I have fresh air, birds are singing, and everything you need to please your granddaughter. You can pick grapes and strawberries. Ah, this is fresher. Oh, here is raspberry. Oh, I think I'm not the only one for raspberries here. Well, help yourself, Mr. Bear. This is for you. See you soon. I have collected everything I need, and now I can start making sweets from these wonderful berries. I'll put them into a bowl to make it beautiful and pour some honey. Just like this. Ugh, no, it doesn't open. What is it? Uh, is that a bear? Aw, oh, thank you, Mr. Bear. You're so helpful. Aw, oh, Chef is kind of scared, I think. But that's fine, she'll get over it. I'm gonna pour honey now. Beautiful. Everything is delicious in the forest. Has the bear already left? Oh, I almost peed myself out of fear. Where are my candies? Don't tell me he took them away. Well... That's bad. Granny, do you want a trick? ta -dam! Oh, bravo, dear. Hold on. I'll take your beads until you see. Well, does it look like Skittles? I think so. Oh, you're finished, honey. Chef, chef, come on, wake up. <gasps> what? Already? Oh, no. What's wrong with my candy rainbow? Everything is a lab. This is a disaster. It can be fixed. We are ready. Whoa, so many candies. It doesn't look like a chef's dish. I don't want to eat it. It'll be easier to choose a winner now. Let's see what grandma has prepared. Berries and honey? Whoa. Mmm, cool. I like it. Mmm, so sweet and fresh. I love it. Ooh, and these look more like Skittles. Ouch! How it hurts. I think I broke my teeth. Oh no! Sorry, baby, I didn't mean to. Don't do that anymore. I decided Grandma won. Oh, thank you, my dear. I'm very glad. That's it. I won this jelly. Jelly? I can do it. Just take gelatine, more sugar, and of course, water. Let's mix it up. There should be a lot of good jelly of all tastes and colors. This form is perfect. Well, we will fill the first layer. And I'll add homemade <laughs> strawberry jam from grandma to my wow. jelly. Mixing it up. Doing it well. Now I need something from my purse. False teeth. 
right now. Knitting kid? Not either. And here is my mold! Yes. That's where I'll pour my jelly. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze. Oh shit! My glasses! I can't see anything at all. I'll put the jelly in the refrigerator. Then I'll look for them. Where am I? It's hot in here. And how it's cold here. Ah! And now it's really damp. Gelatine? Well, no, marmalade is better. Hello, Mr. Bear. You ate my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. Now I'll put you all in the plate. And I'll try one. Okay, fine, I'd rather not. A little here, here, and here. Yeah, more. Something is missing. Oh, for sure, strawberries will perfectly complement my marmalade cube. Cool. Oh, that was great. And now, other layers. Beauty, the only thing left to decorate with strawberries, and it's perfect. Now this delicious cream. I will decorate each layer. Doing it like a pro. And a couple more strawberries on the top. Perfect. Oh, grandma's back. Grandma, wait! Here are your glasses! Is that better? Oh, thank you, Ben. You're such a good boy. <laughs> what kind of plants are these? The only thing left to lay out the jelly. Let's see. Yeah. Paige, what do you think? Wow, so much jelly. Where to start? I'll start with this cube. These are marmalade bears. I love them. I'll take the whole cube at once. Hey, they're scattered. And the cube is empty. It won't do. Let's try grandma's jelly. It's so elastic. Even too elastic. I need a fork. Oh, you can't even pierce it. Okay, I'll have to work with my hands. But what's inside? Grandma, are these your glasses? Ah, ew. All right, jelly cake, it's your time. How funny it shakes. Let's try it. Mmm, jelly. Strawberry and cream go so well together. Tina, you've won, and I want more. Well, how could it be otherwise? Well, well, now I want ice cream. Can you handle it? That's right, it's easy. Milk from a bottle? Well, no, I need the freshest ingredients. Hello, cow, thanks for the fresh milk. Now I will mix this milk with sugar in my professional mixer. I'll pour it into mold and insert sticks. Let's put the mold in the bowl and get something out of my suitcase. Liquid nitrogen will instantly freeze ice cream. Ah, oh, Tina, you're complicating things again. Watch and learn. We'll put the ice cream aside. And in the meantime, we'll make waffles from milk, sugar, flour, and eggs. Mix it well together. And pour the dough into the waffle iron. Wait a bit. And while the waffle is still hot, we make a cone out of it. Just in this shape. Ah, perfect. And now I'll take the ice cream to the refrigerator. Let it harden for now. Just wait a bit. Milk? It's too complicated. 
Oh, that's right. I have an idea. I'll take Sprite and stick a wand in it. And now I'll freeze it in the refrigerator. Grandma, did you fall asleep? What? What? Oh, I dozed off. Thanks for waking me up, Ben. My ice cream is frozen. And I'll freeze mine. Oh, perfect popsicle. The perfect one was in my childhood. And this one is… ah, uh, fine. Okay, Grandma, the only thing left is to cover my popsicle with icing and small decorations to give them the look of cute animals. Paige will definitely like it. Oh, I know what Paige likes. Now I'm going to make a few balls out of my ice cream. Just what you need. Uh, and the ice cream itself really turned out delicious. <laughs> Do you want to try it, Ben? Sorry, Grandma, I'm busy. It's not coming out. Oh, I hadn't thought of it at all. Although, I'll just cut the bottle with a chainsaw. Remove the axes and my ice cream is ready. Huh, cool. Help yourself, Paige. Wow, that's great. And what is this? Heavy. It seems not bad. Oh, it fell and broke. Oops, too much of a person. Which popsicle to choose? Wow. Let there be a pig. Hmm, it's so delicious. And very cute. And what does grandma have? Wow, like in my drawing. Hmm, it tastes even better than I imagined. Grandma, this is definitely a victory. Oh, yes. Well, take a bite, Tina. Don't worry, Ben. 